Hey guys, Proper English here. Today I'm going to show you how to build a pulse sustainer using comparators. This is a pretty cool circuit because it allows us to take an input pulse and extend it for however long or short we want. And I've taken one and hooked it up as a sort of clock over here so we got this funky repeater thing going on. But pulse sustainers are useful for far more than useless things, so let's get started and see what we can do with this. Alright, so I've got a couple of comparator based circuits over here. And we're going to start by taking a look at this memory cell because we're going to base all of our pulse sustainers off of this memory. And so let's come down here and we'll send in a pretty weak signal. This thing can save it because what happens when a comparator receives a signal is it outputs with the same signal strength. So we loop that signal strength around. Now if we allow the signal to decay once, what happens is we get a strong signal coming in here when I pulse it, but then it decays. And so we can use that to sustain a pulse. So we watch this guy, it'll decay quicker than this one. Now if we want it to be faster, we allow it to decay more. So what happens in this one is it can decay one over here and one over here. So if we watch our outputs, it's not as long. But we can also extend it by adding more comparators to the loop. So What's happening here is the signal takes longer to go around before it decays once each loop. And so let's watch this. This one's going to take quite a bit longer. We can see this signal is already gone. This guy still going. It's decaying. And now it's off. So yeah, this is a pretty easy and efficient and yeah, just straightforward way to build a pulse sustainer. So let's take a look at that thing that I showed you at the beginning. All right, so what I've got over here is a neat little circuit that you can build using our pulse sustainer. And so you can see that the sustainer is right here. Every time the signal loops around, it decays by one. And we're sending that into the B input of this subtractor. The A input for the subtractor is getting a signal of one. All right, so we're sending signal from this dispenser through the subtractor, and we can see that it only goes one block. So anytime there is any signal, in our pulse sustainer, we get a zero output over here. And so what we can do is let's get rid of that comparator for a second and we'll throw down some blocks, a repeater, and now we'll throw down the comparator again and set it to subtract. And so what's happening is every time the pulse sustainer reaches zero, this guy can turn on because then we're subtracting zero from one we strengthen that signal over here with a repeater and send it right back into the pulse sustainer and we can watch our little light show over here. So that's the circuit. Hope you enjoyed this and I will see you guys next time.